Rek'Sai and Shogath is immense. Absolutely. As the teams take to the rift, be sure to share your predictions. Tweet hashtag FNC win or hashtag TSM win to at LOLE Sports, and we'll check out who you think will be victorious once we are on the rift. The ward coverage is already there for Fnatic. Rainover does have early game presence on Gragas, and they might be looking to take some power on oh, Dyrus. baby, right onto Dyrus. That's first blood, and Fnatic are on the board. Nixon, traditionally 20 CSF when you get to that 20 minute mark. That is a scary, scary landing presence, but we'll Operation have to Operation Kill Dyrus right here. Oh, Kill Dyrus once again. He's been to this dance before, though. We've seen Dyrus go down a lot. Will it be what gives Fnatic the game? Solo kill for the top lane right now in this early game. That's where 100% of Fnatic's kills have come. Could be one more here. Rainover tries now to come out. in, pops back Bjergsen. He doesn't have much mana. That flash is down, and he's going to try to fight this one out. Hits Febin with the silence. Is that what keeps him alive? No, it does not. The double distortion. Febin picking it up. 26 CS. I do want to talk a little bit more about the overall team compositions right here and how critical it was for Febben to get that kill in the mid lane. Because if he does not snowball ahead of Bjergsen before Bjergsen can tank up, he won't have targets here. And again, the focus on the mid lane. That's that depth charge that was left off. Santorin trying to get something back, but he's not even going to be able to scratch either Febben or Yellowstone. And there's the roam that we talked about. Clearly, this is going to be really tough for TSM to come back from only because Fnatic has so much lane control and they're winning the vision battle as well. And that's, that's what gets me. They're only on single sight stone right now and somehow still getting themselves in the jungle. Now on to Lust Boy. They've thrown him back with the barrel into Feb of his waiting hands. 5-0. Europe take the second tower. And I'm sorry, my North American comrades, but <laughs> Fnatic have landed in Tallahassee. They absolutely have, and they are making it seem like oh, TSM boy. is jet lag, which they clearly are. Bjergsen in the oh, mid lane gets cut as well. They're eat him up. Huni picks up another one. 2-0-1. Santorin is going to need the ultimate from Wild Turtle. Just to get out safely. Yeah, look, he's looking for blood. Not gonna find it this time. Yeah, and there's actually not many ways TSM can deal with him right now, but Rainover is caught out a little bit. Dyrus trying to make a Meganar impact, but now it goes they for the They don't fight. have the vision to keep following, though, and they all try to disengage. What an ultimate from Hootie to keep two in place. TSM trying to re-engage. They're doing good damage to the health bars. They get Steel back where they want him, and Yellowstar is still trying to fight it. Maybe a little bit of miscommunication, but it looks like they're gonna back off as Febbiman dives in for one last save. That was a 4v5 dominating Dyrus this entire game, and now he's dictating the map for Fnatic as well. European rookie the split really showing up here at the international event. Look at that, they're gonna kill him. Oh, the flash explosive cast. You can see how headstrong Fnatic are right now. Really no care in the world against this TSM composition now that they're in their base. They do have that one pushing out to the inhibitor on the bottom lane. TSM are scrambling to defend, but the, without the wave clear of Wild Turtle, there's nothing they can do. This is how you use the Baron buff. We knew these teams were in an arm race for mid game power, and Fnatic has won this arm race. Dar is trying to get an ultimate off. They have no Sivir right now. They don't have much of anything to do in this fight. Huni goes down only because he pushes too far, but you can see Fnatic low on mana. They have health, and that's enough for him to just kind of hang out. They will finally pull back, though, without any minions on that Baron buff. Other than pulling the attention of TSM while the rest of the team pushing in the mid lane. Keep an eye on Yellowstone. He's also picked up that Banner of Command after Sightstone. You've got that empowered minion on the middle lane of Febivan, again, just trying to keep everybody away. All the clever ways of pushing down these inhibitor turrets without a real AD carry right there. Ban your minion for more time. Split pushing with the Baron minions. And now two inhibitors down, 26 minutes in. Do we see a fight? Oh, Lust Whoa. Boy absolutely and surgically deleted from the map. This is going to be Wild Turtle now. He tries to get himself out, but there's not enough spell shield to save his life on that one. Two going in for Febaven, and they're looking for the Nexus turret. So carry on pushing through. They find another one onto Santor and Bjergsen in full retreat. He takes the fat man down, but gets taken down himself. Holo 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 is killed under the Nexus turrets as Fnatic get the minion wave pouring through. They're onto Nexus turret. Now Number one, Dyrus has Mega Gnar charging up, but it's not going to be enough to finish it out. He does get the double Gnar onto the wall, and now Dyrus' attention. The wallop isn't going to be enough, but is there enough HP after that with Lust Boy coming out now, misses the hook on Steel back. They're going to have to retreat, but the not lane swapping, decision making early. It's kind of Fnatic did them. They've done what they always do, and TSM, you have to ask some questions. They've been even cheeky enough to find Bjergsen uh. in the bush. The death sentence connects. They're trying to use the Fnatic brush against Fnatic. That doesn't work. They go on to Bjergsen. He's going to get locked down. And they are just surveying the fight now. Who's next? No worries. Dyrus is going to be it. And this is when they have the Mega Nar. Nobody else can actually follow up. And we're going to see this second tier turret going down. Take the final push. 
It looks like this might be it. There's one tower standing between Fnatic and their first win yet mid-season. Dyrus goes in. Meganar is about to pop, but he hasn't managed to Ooh. find a target yet. We do see the uh, ultimate throwing down for Wild Turtle. They've killed oh. Bjergsen! Bjergsen goes down. Febivin with the turret and then the kill onto Bjergsen. He had a great mid lane against what they thought was going to be an unmatchable set for the mid lane champions here. And Fnatic will take game one over TSM at the mid-season Invitational. Chat, you said it a few minutes ago. Local audience 